हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस व्हीकल ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट एंड इट्स कंपोनेंट्स एंड हाउ टू इवेल्युएट इट व्हेन यू रन ए व्हीकल ऑन द रोड देयर आर सेवरल टाइप्स ऑफ कॉस्ट व्हिच आर इनकर्ड ऑन द रोड यूजर एंड दीस कॉस्ट इंक्लूड लाइक फ्यूल लाइक स्पेयर पार्ट्स ऑफ द व्हीकल लाइक मेंटेनेंस द कॉस्ट ऑफ द ट्रैवल and many more components the vehicle operating cost depends upon the road condition it also depends upon the number of lanes on the road rise and fall it also depends upon the vehicle characteristics age of the vehicle and many more factors but the components of vehicle operating cost include the fuel lubricant tires spare parts and spare parts maintenance labor depreciation in the vehicle crew driver or the in case of public transport system the crew member includes basically driver and conductor in case of commercial vehicles driver and cleaner and some types of fixed cost like overheads administration interest on borrowed loan etc etc all components of these vehicle operating cost have been worked out for indian conditions and these are given in irc sp 30 of 9 2019 the latest edition of this manual is of 2019 and it gives the each component each component of the vehicle operating cost certain equations are given for example for fuel consumption for fuel consumption for a A small car, that is C S, small car, it is thirty plus eight forty four point zero eight five upon V plus point zero zero three V square plus point zero zero one R G plus Point three four one four into R S and minus point two 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 five into F L. This is the fuel consumption for a small car, and its unit is cc per kilometer. V is the speed of the vehicle, kilometer per hour. R G is the roughness, roughness on the road that is in millimeter per kilometer. R S is the rise that is gradient upgrade in meter per kilometer, and this is the fall in meter per kilometer. So it will depend upon the geometric condition of the road. Similar equation is given for big car also. This is for petrol car. and another equation is given for diesel car that is your big vehicle cb and this is 35 plus 983.503 upon v form of equation is same 0.03 v square plus 0.00 2.002 into rg plus 0.339 into rs and minus 0.4785 into fall fl parameter have same meaning speed that is roughness that is rise that is fall meter per kilometer 
Now, similar equations are given for other components of the VOC like spare parts SP ET upon NP ET that is 0 0.0075 into RG minus 2000 into 10 to the power minus 5. RG is same that is roughness in millimeter per kilometer. SP is the cost of spare parts. ET here stands for exclusive of taxes. And this is NP, new price, new price of the vehicle exclusive of taxes. Similar equation, you can have SP, IT inclusive of taxes and NP, IT inclusive of taxes. This remains same. This equation remains same. These parameters remain same. And similarly, you can see here in this table, the cost of labor, tire life, engine oil and other parameters. Now, these equations require speed to be estimated and speed depends upon the number of lanes on the road, speed V. For a single lane road, speed of a small car for single lane road is given by this equation 66.44 minus 0 0.6922 into RF minus 0 0.002874 into RG minus 2000. RF here is rise or fall and RG is the roughness. This is in millimeter per kilometer, this is in meter per kilometer. This is the equation for a small car on single lane road and similarly separate equations are given for different categories of roads. Then another component of VOC is the fixed cost. Fixed cost. Now this fixed cost FXC is given by 395.65 upon UPT. Now UPT here is utilization per day of the vehicle and this UPT is given by this equation 6.7127 multiplied by VCS. Now VCS is given by this equation for a small car. So this will depend upon the number of lanes. If it is for single lane road, you take equation corresponding to single lane road. If it is a four lane road, you take this equation corresponding to four lane road. And calculate what is FXC. Now this is without taxes, exclusive of taxes and FXC inclusive of taxes is 400. 0.61 divided by UPT, utilization per day. Similarly, depreciation cost, depreciation cost of the vehicle depreciation cost DC DC is given by 42.83 upon UPT. Here also this is exclusive, exclusive of taxes and if you are considering the taxes also that is inclusive of taxes and this is 76.68 upon UPT and UPT same. 
that depends upon the speed, the number of lanes on the road. Utilization per day and passenger time cost. It is for a small car and for a single lane road and intermediate lane road. This is given by 244.07 upon V. For a two lane road, this is 328.06 upon V. Rupees per kilometer, passenger time cost, rupees per kilometer. V is the speed. This is for single lane and intermediate lane road. This is for two lane road. Similarly, you have an equation for four lane or eight lane. These are the set of equations which are given for a small car. Similarly, set of equation is given in IRC SP 30 2019 for other category of vehicles also for two wheelers, for big car, for heavy vehicle, for buses, for LCV, for multi axle trucks. And depending upon the traffic composition on the road, you can find out what would be the total vehicle operating cost. IRC SP 30 was updated in 2019 and therefore all prices are suggested to be converted to 2019 price level in the code. And if you are calculating VOC for any future year, say 2024, then you must adjust all these prices, all these costs for wholesale price index of that corresponding year. Using the price index of 2019 and all these equations, IRCSP 30 2019 has suggested cost of individual item, cost of spare part, cost of fuel consumption, cost of grease, cost of everything. For different geometric and surface condition of the road. You can take these values directly, but those are to be corrected for the wholesale price index of the corresponding year. That means the year of calculation. Further, all these tables and equations which are given, they are for free flow condition of the vehicle or the traffic. Now, as the traffic volume increases, congestion increases and because of congestion speed reduces, acceleration, deceleration and overtaking maneuvers are frequent and that would change the vehicle operating cost, that will increase the vehicle operating cost. And therefore, the congestion effect should also be considered while calculating the vehicle operating cost. And there are two types of congestion factors. One is distance related congestion, another is time related congestion. Now, distance related congestion are like fuel, lubricants, tire, spare parts, and labor, maintenance labor. They will depend upon the distance to be traveled. Whereas time related are depreciation in the vehicle, fixed cost, then wages of the crew, value of passenger time, that is your PT and value of commodity, value of commodity in transit. Now distance related congestion factors in IRC SP 30 are again given in the form of equations. For example, for a single lane road, 
for a single lane road for car this distance related congestion factor is 0.924 plus 0.68 into V by C A ratio. This is for car. Similarly, for two wheeler, you have an equation. This is 0.99 plus 0.83 into V by C. Similarly, for bus, this congestion factor is 1 plus 1 into V by C ratio. For LCV, for heavy commercial vehicles, for multi axle vehicles. For intermediate lane road, these are the equations CFD, that is congestion factor distance related. 0.924 is the same, but 0.68 is reduced to 0.635. So you have the set of equations for different categories of roads and for different types of vehicles. This is for 6 lane divided carriageway, 8 lane divided carriageway or expressways. Similar to that, you have time related congestion factors again for different types of road sections and for different categories of vehicles. You can calculate time related congestion factor also based on V by C ratio. This table is for single lane, intermediate lane and two lane. And similarly, this is for 4 lane, 6 lane and 8 lane divided carriageway or expressways. Appendix D of IRC SP 30 2019 provides VOC data directly for different roughness values and for rise and fall values for different types of vehicles. For a small car, for example, this is the table where you can find out the fuel cost, tire cost, engine oil cost other oil cost, grease, spare parts, maintenance cost, fixed cost, appreciation cost and time cost. So fixed cost, depreciation cost, time cost, they are time dependent cost and these are the distance dependent or distance related cost. Similar tables are provided for other category of vehicles also and for different roughness values. Now it should be noted that congestion occurs more severely in the peak hour and less severely during the rest of the day. The hourly traffic variation on road will then determine the appropriate congestion factor. For the determination of both distance and time related congestion factors, information on peak hour traffic flow in terms of PCU is essential. When such information is not available, then we can assume 8 to 10 percent of daily traffic volume to represent the peak hourly traffic flow. The congestion factors obtained on the basis of peak hour flow are true only to peak hour conditions and it is inappropriate if the congestion factors are used for 24 hours. So congestion factors for peak hour will be calculated and for remaining time it will be assumed that the conditions are normal. For example, the capacity of a two lane road is considered 30,000 PCU per day and this flow is distributed over 24 hour period means average 1250 PCU per hour. And let us assume that peak hour traffic is 10% of capacity that in that case while calculating the congestion factor either distance rated or time rated P by C ratio should be taken 0.1. And then distance and time related congestion factors can be computed accordingly using the equations as given in tables. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, you can write in the comment box.